Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and we are on number, oh what is this, number six of our towels? I think this is number six. I've kind of lost count. I'm having so much fun. But the next uh, pattern that we are going to be doing is called uh, Breaks and Recesses. It is number 47 in the Strickler book and it says that it is best done with the same yarn used as the warp and the weft. I wanted to, because I want to actually see the structure and how it interacts, I'm going to be using an, a little bit um, different color of uh, weft than just the white. And that's really just because I want to see the structure and how it behaves. The other thing that I'm probably going to try is to actually use a color um, and, and just see what it looks like. Because that's what this project is all about, is sampling and seeing what um, you get when you do these different uh, patterns or the different drafts. But the first thing that I wanted to do is to um, put on my temple because I started noticing um, that I'm getting quite a bit of draw in and I thought that I would push it back out with the temple. So as a reminder, um, if you take your temple and put it up against the reed, open it up so that the teeth um, are about in the middle of your last dent on either side. Let's see if I can do this. And then you find the closest hole that that fits in, which it looks like that's right about there. Then we will just go ahead and put the temple in and you'll be able to see how far out I am. There. Okay, so you can see I pushed that out a good probably inch on either side. Um, so I'm going to uh, put the hem in and I'm gonna start my weaving. I won't use the temple throughout the entire uh, piece uh, because I don't really need to. I just need to kind of watch um, how I bring the, uh, I need to control the draw in a little bit. Uh, so, also, on this one, I don't think I'm going to do a, hem a plain weave hem allowance. Um, I could, but I'm going to try it without it and see how it works. Um, and I advanced my work a little too far, so I'm going to go ahead and um, take it back. That's better. I had just gone a little too far. All right, so this is a very easy treadling pattern. Um, the way that it is tied up, I'm just going to be treadling one through eight. My brass tags have come in pretty handy because I um, I had to, I had two treadles that were tied up as plain weave treadles. Um, this particular pattern requires two treadles that are tied up as plain weave. So rather than tie up 
two additional treadles in the plain weave, I just move my tags around to accommodate where the plain weave treadles are. Um, and, but I do need to make sure that I remember that my treadle one is not on my far left hand foot and my treadle, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's in the middle. <laughs> so I just need to remember that. So we'll see how this goes. let my cat in. What? Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so because this is a new structure to me, I am going to kind of stop and make sure that it's behaving like I expect it to, to behave. So we're going to have um, two warp threads that are um, that have floats. that are one warp thread apart and then we're going to have weft floats that are one warp one thread apart oh jeez there you go okay thank you Okay, so it appears to be um, behaving as I expect. So I will go ahead and uh, continue weaving. Let's see, I have woven eight picks. And so now um, I just wanna make sure that I don't, I'm not beating too hard. This may be one of those structures that um, you need to have a little bit tighter. So again, it may be better if it was set at say 24 ends per inch rather than um, 20. So there's 16, so that's 15, 16, 17. Should be 20. So let's take a look and see if that is about an inch. It looks like it is three quarters of an inch. So this is another structure that 
probably should have been set a little bit um, closer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with it and just see how it comes out. Um, this might be another, uh, another one that shrinks up. And that's why we're doing it this. Fortunately, I do not need to really think about um, the traveling numbers. Now, there's also a a traveling sequence that I kind of came up with that um, gives a little bit different design that I might give a try. Um, so instead of um, a straight traveling of one through eight, um, I did a design where um, there's a point traveling, so it's um, 1 through 8, 7 through 1, 2 through 8, um, 7 through 1, 2 through 8, 7 through 1. Um, and it, ca it came up with a different patterning, um, so I might give that a try and see how I like it. should have moved it a while back but um, I think just having that uh, that one segment um, see I didn't have to push it out nearly as as hard that time so white on white um, so that's why I'm thinking that uh, once I get uh, a length of this done um, I might go ahead and switch to one of the other colors um, so maybe I'll do like a third of it in the cream a third of it in blue and a third of it in maybe a rust. And you can see how I'm not uh, 
I'm not beating. I'm just really kind of pulling the beater forward and um, being very gentle with it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, use the temple a little bit longer just to make sure. Oh yeah, see, it's, it's not pulling in at all. So I'll set the temple aside. Um, I'll keep it handy. You can see it, it really pushes the threads apart on the edges and these will kind of pull back. Um, when we do the wet finishing, but uh, I like how this looks. It, it looks very elegant. Um, I can absolutely see a, uh, like a um, tablecloth, a whole tablecloth made in this pattern. course, I thought the same thing about the Brighton um, honeycomb too. Uh, the Brighton honeycomb might um, shrink up a lot more than I'm anticipating though. Let's see, that's three, four. Hmm. I lost count where I was. <laughs> was eight, okay. Um, put on my so you can see I'm getting a little draw in there it's just the nature of the beast I'm going to get a tape measure and put it along the side so that I can uh, switch after 10 inches and um, I think that'll be actually I think I'm gonna switch after let's do um, after 11 and a half inches and that will give me um, a couple inches on the ends let's see uh, if I want 30 inches so I want a 30 inch towel with two inch hem on either end so um, the first section and the last section should I'll add two inches to uh, so I'll do 12 inches for the first and the last section and the middle section I'll be 10 inches and then when I hem it it will be 10 inches on, on each section okay drawing I'm going to be very conscious of um, when I pull out when I come out of the shed I'm going to pull out enough of my yarn to go back 
through the shed again so that when I throw my next pick, it's not pulling um, on the selvage here. Uh, it's going to just be very loose. And then, um, and hopefully that will keep it from growing in anymore. switch to um, the denim and it's like I had some issues here with winding this bottom too. Evidently I'm not very good at winding bottoms.
liking the dark color against the light wet warp um, because you're able to actually see the structure um, of the weave. So I actually like it. Um, I'm almost out of this color, so we're going to call it good. Um, I really like the color on the white. What do you guys think? I like it. Um, so let's try another color. Um, what else do I have? Okay, so I came... Ooh, I came up with this um, Caudalin that is a red-brown and um, I used this in another set of towels that uh, had the same denim in it and it went really well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use that. seven grams on this particular bobbin um, but I have I have another spool of it I have plenty but we'll see how far the seven grams gets us and then I should know how much more to wind onto a bobbin in order to finish up the um, this top. I won't even keep this together. Maybe I'll use these panels to make something else completely. So, oh, 
I need another 14 grams. So about double what I had on there. So I will go ahead and wind that and then we will continue on. So I want a little bit more than 14, but not too much more. I just, I didn't want to run out. There's nothing worse than leaving and being a half an inch short and having your bobbin run out. That's just annoying. those turned out. I really like the color uh, of the weft on the white warp. Uh, I think if you had it reversed also it would work. Um, I think maybe it would be kind of cool if you had stripes of warp and then you could do similar stripes of weft and make kind of a gamp. Um, so I might try that sometime in the future uh, but for now, I think this one is done. So I hope you enjoyed watching me weave this towel. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thanks a lot. The next video will be draft number 13 from Strickler's book, Irish Poplin. Thanks for watching and happy weaving.